Hello! In this video, we are going to learn how to graph a line in slope-intercept form. So slope-intercept form looks like this, y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b represents your y-intercept. Now remember that your slope is equal to your rise over your run which tells you the steepness of the line. And your B is your y-intercept, and in this case, it's our starting point. So, here are the steps. Step one, we wanna make sure we solve the equation for y, which means get y on a side by itself. Sometimes it will already be on a side by itself. In that case, you can jump immediately to step two. You want to identify the slope, which is the m. It's always going to be the number that's next to x, and you always want to write it as a fraction. So if you identify your m as, say, 3, we are actually going to write it as 3 over 1 because we want to write it as a fraction so that we always have a rise and a run. Sometimes it will be written as a fraction, like you might just have a slope of 3 fourths. If it's already written as a fraction, you don't have to worry about that. But if it's a whole number, like 3 or 2 or 5, um, always write it with the 1 on the bottom. Okay, next, we want to identify the y-intercept, which is the b. It's going to be the number on um, the side with the x, but not next to the x. It'll either be added or subtracted to the x. Then, we're going to plot the y-intercept, which is the b. It's the first point that we're going to make. It goes on my y-axis, which is that vertical axis right here, like this. And you're going to plot the point. You're either going to count up or count down and just put a dot. And then we're going to use the slope, which is the m, to find one to two more points and then connect the points to make a line. So we're going to start with this example I have here on the right. It says graph y equals 2x plus 3, and we'll follow all the steps. So step number one says solve the equation for y. My equation already says y equals. So y is already on a side by itself. I don't have to identify or solve for y. Okay, next, identify the slope. The slope is going to be my number that is next to my x, which is this guy right here, which in this case is the number two. So my slope, and I like to write it out, my slope is equal to 2, but remember we want to write it as a fraction, which is the same as 2 over 1, okay? Step number 3 says I want to identify the y-intercept, which is the b. The y-intercept is going to be this number here that I'm adding to my x or subtracting. In this case, this is a positive 3, so my b value is equal to 3. Step number 4 says plot the y-intercept or the b. Okay, so I'm going to start at my origin, 0, 0. Notice I'm counting by 1s on either scale on my x and my y axes. And um, I'm going to go up 3 because my b value is positive 3. So 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to plot my point right here, 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's where I'm starting. Now, from this point, I'm going to use my rise over run, my slope, to make We'll say one to two more points. I always like to make at least three points. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to rise up two. Here's my, my slope. So I'm going to go up two over one, draw a point. Up two over one, draw a point. Up two over one, draw a point. You don't have to draw four points. I'm just trying to show you the pattern. So you can see I'm going up two over one, up two over one, up two over one, and then I'm gonna connect them all with a straight line. And don't forget to put some arrows on it. And there is your line, y equals two x plus three. Let's try another one. Okay, graph y equals two thirds x minus one. Okay, so First step, solve for y. This equation is already set equal to y. y equals is already on a side by itself. Step number two, find my slope. It's the number that's next to my x. So in this case, my slope is 2 thirds, and it's already written as a fraction. The next step, I have to find my y-intercept, 
which is the number that's added or subtracted to my x. In this case, my y-intercept is negative 1. Okay, step number 4, I'm going to plot my y-intercept. So negative 1 means I start on my origin, and I'm going to count down 1. So on my y-intercept, I'm just going to zoom this in a little bit, is going to be here. Then from my y-intercept, this is where I start, I'm going to do my slope. I'm going to go up to over 3. So I'm going to go up 2 over 1, 2, 3, make a point. Up 2 over 1, 2, 3, make a point. Up 2 over 1, 2, 3, make a point. So you can see I'm making this staircase like this. And then I'm going to connect all my points with a line. Oh, that's not a good line. Let me try that one more time. That's a little better. Here, let's fix it here. There we go. Okay. And put some lines on it because lines go forever. Now, you don't have to draw on this staircase. It's just doing it for an effect so that you can really understand how the slope works. All right, let's try another one. Little trickier this time. So step number one, we have to get y on a side by itself. So I have to, um, I'm going to put a line down the middle here to get y on the side by itself. I have to take this 4x and I have to move it to the other side. So this is a positive 4x. So I'm gonna subtract 4x from both sides. So I'm left with y equals, now I always write my x's first, negative 4x plus one. I know it's plus one because right here is a positive one. Okay. Step number two, I want to identify my slope. It's the number that's next to my x. So here, my slope is negative 4, and we want to write it as a fraction, negative 4 over 1. Next, I have to identify my y-intercept. In this case, it's positive 1. So I'm going to start at positive 1 here, and from my starting point, 1, this orange point that I made, I'm going to do my slope. So this one says negative 4 over 1. Negative 4 means I'm going to go down 4. 1, oops, you can't see that. 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. Down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. And I don't have any more room on my graph to make any more points. Three points is perfectly acceptable to make a line, so let's graph it. Uh, right about there. And there we go. Okay, we have one more to try. 2x minus 5y equals negative 10. I'm just going to move this over a little bit so we can kind of do our work over here a little bit out of the way. And maybe we'll shrink it a little bit too. Just so I'm not writing so big. And go like this. Okay, so first thing I have to do I have to get y on a side by itself. So I have to move this 2x and I have to move this negative 5. First thing I'm going to move is my 2x. This is a positive 2x, so the opposite of positive 2x is negative 2x. So I'm subtracting 2x from both sides. And I get negative 5y equals, write your x's first because then it looks like y equals mx plus b. Negative 2x. Minus 10. I know it's minus 10 because this is a, oops, because this is a negative 10 right here. Okay, now I have to get rid of this negative 5. This says negative 5 times y to undo times or to undo multiplication. I have to divide both sides by negative 5. Now, when you're dividing, you have to divide negative 5 by this term and negative five by this term. So it really looks like negative two x divided by negative five minus 10 divided by negative five. You're dividing both. So when we divide them, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And because we're dealing with slope, we wanna keep it as a fraction. So this becomes two over five x and a negative 10 divided by negative 5 is positive 2. So this is my answer or in slope-intercept form, or my answer that I get when I solve my equation for y. Now I'm going to use this 
to help me graph. So I come back up here and I say, okay, I have to identify my slope. Here's my slope. My slope is two fifths and my y-intercept is equal to two. Now I can graph. So I start at my y-intercept value, which is two. So I'm moving up two from the origin. Then from this orange point, I'm going to do my slope to get my next points. My slope says I'm gonna rise up two and over five. One, two, three, four, five. Up two, over five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now to get a little bit tricky, I'm running out of space, right? I'm in my work zone. So I can make some points over on this, this area over here by doing the opposite. So I went up to right five. If I go down to left five, it puts me in the same staircase zone like this. So down to left five is going backwards will give me the same outcome. Okay, so I can graph my line. It's gonna look like this. Ooh, that's pretty close. Let's see if we can make it a little bit better. There we go. And there we go. So remember, the trickiest part when you're doing these kinds of problems is to actually solve for y. And I think the hardest part is when you do it right here to remember that you're dividing both terms, the, the x part, the m, the, well, to get the m, the x part and the constant divided by this negative five or whatever you happen to be divided by. If you have any questions about how this works, let me know, or if you'd like some more practice problems, I'm happy to send some to you. Good luck.